Hello, 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 I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We are starting this video off in the train station because I am rushing to meet with the tour because today we're going on a day trip to Jiufen and Shifen. Okay, so I didn't explain myself fully, but I'm going on a tour today. Um, to head to Jiufen and Shifen because I looked up the traveling stuff and I think like because I'm traveling alone it's just easier to go with a tour and the meetup point is at Taipei main station and I kid you not like I was lost for a good 10 minutes thank god for these two really lovely young ladies that like help direct me this feels like a Tokyo station uh, but yes, I made it in time. I was worried they were going to leave without me, but I'm going to grab a drink because I am thirsty. All right, we are headed to see the waterfall right now. This is a tour of 38 people. And you know what? For brief moments in time, it's actually nice to travel with a big group of people. There's our tour guide at the front with a little flag, which is super, super cute. So the first stop today is the waterfall, and then um, our last stop is going to Jilfen. It looks really, really nice at night with all the lanterns lit up. I've only been there during the day slash late afternoon, so for me, it's very exciting to be able to see Jiufen at night. All right, I'm currently on the suspension bridge. Sorry, I lost, I nearly lost my footing just then. This bridge moves quite a bit when you have lots of people on it. So we're heading towards the waterfall right now. We've got about I think, 30 minutes. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna focus on getting through this bridge. So as I understand it, Shifen is mostly known for the waterfall and also the old street so right now what i'm looking at is the waterfall it is definitely very very like relaxing to be so close to the water i don't know what it is but the sound of water hitting against rocks is just so soothing so at Schiffen, this is a place where you light up lanterns and write your wishes and send it up into the sky but Anything that goes up has to come down and one of the lanterns has actually uh, landed in the water. That's the red thing that's on the waterfall right now, which is a bit of a shame. But other than that, this is, this is very, very beautiful. All right, I'm gonna make this super quick. This is a peanut wrapped ice cream. This is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, the entire tour group is gone, so I gotta go. <laughs> All right, this is the Shifen train station railroad. In fact, I'm staring at a lot of people like writing their, their wishes onto lanterns and then sort of setting it up. There's a lot of street eats and snacks along this trip as well. I think right now we have about an hour just to explore. A few people on the tour are setting lanterns as well but I'll just be, I'll just be observing. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. All right, we are now heading to Jiufen and the bus ride from here, Shifen to Jiufen is around 45 minutes. Being able to see Shifen as the sun was setting was quite beautiful. Jofen used to be an old gold mining town and now it continues to thrive as a tourist attraction. I'm currently at Old Street and there's so many different 
food stores, tea stores, snack stores just kind of lined along the alleyway. I'm just seated at one of the restaurants here in Jolfen Old Street. The reason I came here is I've been here once before and I love the fish balls here. This bowl of fish ball soup came to 35 bucks. The broth is savory. It's got like a fish flavor to it. These fish balls are chewy. It's not as elasticy and springy as like the street food, like fish balls in Hong Kong street food, but it's equally delicious. All right, next up, I got myself some cold handmade taro balls. I think it's taro balls. It's very nice and chewy and um, very refreshing as well. There's some green beans in this as well, which I appreciate. I love that it's not too sweet. I wonder what all the other colors are. I need to like go back and maybe ask them. So you can order this to go or you can have it in here. And they also have the option to buy it raw and then you can take it back and cook it yourself. Super quick addendum to what I just had. The orange one is sweet potato. The black one is black sesame. Green one is green tea. And then the purple one is taro. Okay. All right, we have just arrived at Ame Tea House. The vibes of this spot reminds me a little bit of that scene in Spirited Away. And I feel like during the day it might be even more crowded. Like right now it's actually not too bad at all. Okay, I've decided to come to Ame Tea House because I'm like, what other chance am I gonna be able to come here? So they only do a set menu right now. Um, they don't do any food at the moment. I think different times during the day they do. So this tea set, it comes with four snacks. So we've got mochi, we've got sesame crackers, we've got green bean like cake, and we've also got prunes, no, plums. They were talking me through the process of making the tea. You first have to wash your cup and then you have to wash the tea leaves. So the first pour, you actually pour it out. These are just nice little snacks to go with your tea. I think it's just a nice vibe to be able to sit here and then look out because it's absolutely beautiful. Done with tea at Ame Tea House and this trip is pretty much like finished. Um, we're gonna head back to the tour bus and then head back to Taipei Main Station. We are having sushi train for dinner tonight. I am super excited. The last time I was at a sushi uh, train location like this was in Japan. Sydney sushi trains are not like this. I've got myself my own little booth. In fact, everybody has their own booth. This thing of tuna, two pieces, was 40 Taiwanese dollars, which is two bucks Aussie. <laughs> I'm so excited, if you can't tell already. Okay, there's like sauces, tea, and then you've got your own little like tap to get hot water. So I've got my first piece of tuna, but before we start, let's, let's make our green tea, shall we? Is it the best sushi I've had in the world? No, but is it good enough? Absolutely. So when you order something from the tablet, instead of taking it off the conveyor belt, it comes through this like special conveyor belt, which is above the normal conveyor belt. So I got salmon and I also got surf clam, which this is actually one of my favorites as well. I do also want a steamed egg. And you, there we go. A bunch of things have just arrived. I've got surf clams, I've got salmon, I've got my one piece of scallop that was 60 Taiwanese dollars, so that's three Aussie dollars. I saw some people get prawns as well, and that looked really good. But let's, let's dig into this. I like that texture of surf clams, you know? Salmon with a bit of lime on top. They've torched it a little bit, 
and they've also added some salt. Got that charred flavor to it as well. I also got an egg. Oh, this egg is really good. It's very smooth and silky and custardy and jiggly. A little mushroom. You can find some little goodies in this as well. Oh wow, the prawns have arrived. But what I am most excited about is this fatty tuna roll. Oof. Let's give this a go. Can I one batter it? I trade three of the prawns for one of this. That's really good. I really like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven plates. At least one more, right? Because eight is a great number. <laughs> Should I get this or this? I'll get this. All right, let's see if I made the right decision choosing this over that other piece that I just had. This was not bad, but I should have chosen that other piece. Okay, just done with dinner. Uh, I had eight plates and it came to a total of 440 uh, Taiwanese dollars. Um, right now, we're actually within walking distance to a whiskey bar that one of their bartenders won like best bartender in the world. So we're gonna go check it out right now. Uh, just get, you know, a couple drinks and then we'll call it a night. Okay, I've just arrived at Cavalan Whiskey Bar. On the exterior, initially I was a little bit confused as to how to actually enter, but once you come in, this is a fantastic spot. And if you're in Taiwan, you absolutely should come and check this place out. They have won numerous awards, like I said, and I've got myself a whiskey cocktail. So this is a tangerine cocktail. It's got the Cavalan Concert Master Sherry Cast Finish Whiskey and you've got tangerine flavors through it as well. So I can't wait to give it a go. Ooh, I love this. And that's pretty much it for this video. That also concludes the Taipei series. I'll still be posting more Taipei content on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me on my Instagram to check out that content. I've also recently started this thing called like a channel broadcast on Instagram. And essentially what it is, is like my intention for it is to show you guys the behind the scenes, get some feedback on my content from you guys, and to also host giveaways and give away presents and, and prizes. And I've actually hosted my first ever giveaway recently, the Samyang Ramen Advent Calendars. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, so yes, if you have Instagram and you want to be a part of it, I'll add a link in my description so you can click on it and join. So as I'm filming this clip right now, it is almost Christmas. I do not know where the year has gone. It's true what they say, <laughs> the older I get, the faster time flies. Like last year this time, I was doing Vlogmas where I made a video every single weekday until Christmas and now it's 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 already a year. Crazy. So I hope you're taking this time to like rest and recharge and I hope you eat lots. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and an amazing rest of the year and I'll see you in my next video very, very shortly. All right. Bye. All right, guys, we are currently doing last minute shopping at Coles. Um, so, just two batches? A, yeah, I think two is enough. And we're gonna pick up some, some seafood as well shortly. Okay, we got all of our seafood. We've got oysters, prawns, sashimi, and we just have like a salad kind of thing. I'm sitting at the back to look after all the seafood, but yes super super excited for the food like i said earlier i hope you guys have 
an amazing Christmas, have a happy new year, and I'll see you very, very shortly. Bye. Sorry, my hand is like on the food.